Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. You get a call claiming there's been a rash of break-ins in your area. The caller suggests that you get an alarm system to protect yourself, but then comes the pitch. Problem solver Susan Hogan reveals who's spreading the alarm. We've been hearing from a number of you who've received phone calls just like this. To make matters worse, according to the Attorney General's office, whoever is on the other end of the call is scaring people into thinking that their lives are in danger. We've all been there. The phone rings and there's a pause. We know what's coming next. It, it is a robocaller or a telemarketer. And chances are they're going to try to suck us into buying something. Well, they were using probably what's called scare tactics. Scare tactics are one of the oldest tricks in the books to get people, consumers, to purchase goods and services without really having time to think whether it's a legitimate offer or not and whether the company is good. We've heard from a number of people who've received a recorded call claiming that there's have been an increase in robberies and break-ins in their neighborhood and then they're asked to press the number one to get more information on how to protect themselves and many unfortunately have taken the bait for those who've pressed number one they're told that for no charge someone will come out and install a home security system and according to the attorney general's office there's nothing free about this there's no such thing as a free offer and we say this over and over over and over again if it sounds too good to be true it probably is so these robocalls we're learning that they're actually contacting people who are on the do not call list isn't that illegal it is illegal. If they are not on the do not call list, then they should really contact the FCC at FCC.gov so they can actually lodge a formal telemarketing complaint. If you've signed up for the national do not call list, your rights are pretty clear. According to the FCC, you can sue the violator if they call you more than one time during the year. Automated dialing systems are also prohibited from calling you, and your cell phone is also off limits. And for more information on signing up for the National Do Not Call Registry, log on to our website for a direct link. Also, if you've been contacted by a company and you want to file a complaint, we have a link to the FCC for you as well. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.